uh, to our town hall this evening, and I uh, wish you and uh, all of you uh, a good evening, and hopefully we get some information that we can use and some answers to some of our questions uh, that uh, uh, that we may have here this evening. The reason I'm delayed is that the town hall, another town hall, coming on the corner of Ocean Avenue, back to Columbus, on the Marine Park uh, condos. Um, some of the issues that are going on in those buildings. Um, so that's why I'm a little late here right now. But uh, we put this meeting together because of the meeting that the Marine Park uh, Civic had uh, with the President Greg Russo and its board of directors. And there was a lot of questions as to uh, to get kind of this thing to come out and some of the other um, uh, deliverer services. Uh, to the community and to take this opportunity to have these companies and agencies come and answer the questions that many of you may have. I know that Greg had a lot and it seems to pop up in each one of his meetings that there's always there somebody with some question uh, from one of these deliverers of service. Uh, and so I figured get them all here, have an opportunity to talk to them, listen to them, and hopefully address some of your concerns. Some of the concerns I don't know that we're going to be able to resolve some of the problem, of course, the way it costs to deliver that service. And one thing I'd like to see done is to some of these bills, I think Verizon does it, uh, and I don't know, uh, National Grid does it, but Edison doesn't do it. And that's the video breakdown of, you know, where, what's the cost of the service? What's the actual cost of delivery of service? And what, what is the taxes that are in there, that the city, the state, and the federal taxes that are added into that, that seem to be what uh, many of us uh, are aware of, uh, are these pass-throughs that kind of uh, manages to put on its bill, but it's not actually the delivery of services it's because of increased taxes that have been placed on the bills in some cases. So we're going to get some of those answers and better understand what our bill uh, is made up of, uh, how much of that is of taxes, and, uh, and what notifications are made to you when they uh, do an increase in service uh, or an increase in price. Uh, so it's my goal here as a state senator to, uh, uh, to get the quality of life of residents in this district and to uh, make sure the quality of life is a good quality of life and get rid of the frustrations. Life is not easy, especially in these times. Uh, and as we look around, not just our community, but our city, our state, our nation, uh, it leads one to pause. Uh, so hopefully some of these meetings that we have will give you some relief uh, and some answers and, uh, and hold some people accountable uh, for their actions uh, moving forward, whether it be an agency, whether it be a company, uh, whether it be an elected official so that they are held responsible and to a higher um, degree uh, than the service that they've been under. Uh, I want to introduce my chef and Paul Kersner uh, from Con Edison, uh, the two gentlemen on my left to your right. Um, you know, uh, Paul Kersner, he's no stranger to a lot of people in this room, he comes to most of the meetings. Susanna Swirling from Verizon. Um, we have over here Carla, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel well. Irish gift in Brooklyn from National Grid. And I'm missing somebody here right now, uh, Sharon Griffin from the New York State uh, Energy Research and Development. Uh, that's uh, uh, my server. And on the end, who am I missing here? Michael Roach from the Department of Environmental Protection. Um, I want to thank all of them for coming out here today. I also want to thank the principal for opening up this school. Uh, she's not here right now, but Deborah Garifold, she's always great, she's very good to us, and I want to say thank you for what she does for the community. I want to thank the coordinator, Gretchen uh, Silvesta, uh, for her uh, work in the school here and for uh, opening up and being here as well with us today. Of course, Greg Russo, the board of directors of Marine Park Civic, give them a round of applause. They do this each and every day and do a great, great job. Audrey Mullins hiding in the back there, my volunteer. 
Give her, give her, give her. She's, her, she's the hardest worker I have in the course of the pandemic. And we have Denise Hubbard here, and she is always at all of our meetings as well. And she's from the DEP, Department of Biomedical Protection, and she'll be here to answer some of your events, uh, some of your questions. Some of the events coming up, we have the, um, the 8th Annual Senior Fair at St. Columbus, uh, June 4th at 12 noon. Um, that's uh, my senior uh, event, and that will be lunch for our seniors. If you get a chance, please. Uh, Make sure you come out. And we have the Twilight Tattoo, June 12th. That's the military uh, Twilight Tattoo at uh, Dyke Park at uh, 5.30 on June 12th. Some of the issues, I'm just going to ramble through them. Um, I'd like you, if I don't touch on any of these issues that are of concern to us, uh, please make sure you, that if it's not part of the, this task force that we have here today that we're going to listen to, um, and it's an issue that's bothering you and your community. My staff is in the back. Uh, please, uh, you can ask me a question, or, or you can get some of my staff if you don't get to your specific question. Some of the issues we have is Kendall Street building is, uh, is still in uh, court proceedings, and uh, you know, that's been a long time. I'm hoping that eventually that will come to an end, but we definitely don't want that additional floor. They, they have to take that floor down. If you don't take that floor down, you're allowed to complete the building. If you're allowed to complete that building, there'll be another building after that. Uh, 3512 Point Road uh, is a, uh, going to be a medical facility, I understand, uh, and an ambulatory facility on the second floor. Uh, I know there's going to be some questions about that. Uh, I know there'll be some questions about the shooting in the, uh, the police department on uh, 37th Street. It's 37th Street, but the 6th Street Precinct handled that very well. Um, there was a person that uh, was committing daytime uh, break-ins and burglaries and uh, with people home uh, and uh, he succumbed to his own wounds. Um, then we have 3415 Fillmore Avenue. Uh, that building is being monitored and of course the Carmine Carroll Community Center is on time for a fall ribbon play. Um, the Hebrew Language Academy is found a home over on Kings Highway, uh, and the proposal was expand to 6 to 12 Marine Park Junior High School is being worked on by the Department of Education. Uh, that will take place in 2000 to 2011 school year. Um, traffic signals for Chatham Avenue and uh, investigated by DOT and uh, fancy that. And of course, the MDU is also still being investigated. Repainting has been set for several blocks of Harris Beach, and the bulk is on Canyon and uh, some of the other streets are being fixed as well. And we have an issue with the bus. It's the 3 and the 31. Uh, the overnight schedule, uh, the 31 is scheduled at the overnight service eliminated. We ripped to the MTA request the B3 to do an hourly trip down to the end of Garrison Avenue uh, so that the B31 uh, take over the service. So we have some service coming out of Garrison Beach if, in fact, they go through with these service cuts, which we believe they will service cuts. Ninety-three million dollars in service cuts. They get one contract out, three hundred million dollars to lock people up to do cameras, subway systems, twenty-five percent of those cameras work, seventy-five percent do not work. And as you've seen in the newspapers and on the TVs, uh, how people have keys and they just let themselves in and out of uh, the transit system. Does anybody have an idea of how much the uh, lose annually to fare at subways and buses. Anybody have an annual? Anybody guess at it? How much? You and I had this conversation, that's fine. Anybody else have that? 27 million. Somebody else had the conversation as well. 45 million. 45 million dollars and there's also a million dollars in stimulus dollars and this supposed to be coming into the subway system of which 100 million dollars could be used for operating dollars. Not that I encourage that. Uh, but that would be something that would alleviate some of the issues that we have. Some issues in Seagull Park, Seagull Park, and Seagull Park is the only one on the schedule. And of course, we've had some uh, meetings on the East 36th Street regarding health concerns and the Rider Street regarding its safety, Coleman, and uh, Fillmore. Uh, so, those are some of the issues that we've dealt with over the past several weeks and the past few months. 
Uh, I know I just glanced over it. The reason I glanced over it is because I wanted to get to our individual that are up here today. We will be back.